Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the month again. We're doing where to start and it's October. Really, really good ones. I'll just tell you who they are. We got Lake Lanier. I've had a lot of people ask for Lake Lanier. I've got Lake James in North Carolina. Really cool lakes. We're gonna talk about where to start. You know, two, three, four areas on each one of these lakes. Uh, and why, like why would I start right there when we go to talk about these? Uh, it's just an area to kind of like to get a bite. That's what I always say. So, you know, you can take these, if this is not one of your lakes, you can take what we're gonna talk about in this video and uh, use it on your lake. You know, we're gonna study the sea map here. That's a big part of it, looking at the sea map, looking at uh, aerial imagery. Um, those are the things we're gonna do. We're gonna break it all down for you. And at the end of the video, as always, thanks to Optima, we're gonna give a battery away just to one of you lucky subscribers that has left a comment. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, we had lots of people talk about Lake Lanier. Like just, and, and you know, I haven't attacked it because it's a big lake. Like when I look at this thing here, it's, it's just amazing. Like I, 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 I didn't look up the shoreline, but there's got to be a, a thousand miles of shoreline on it. It's just a big, big lake. You know, it's a lake right outside of Atlanta. It's got spotted bass in it. It's got largemouth in it. It's on the Chattahoochee River. Um, monstrous lake. So let's talk about October fishing on spotted bass fisheries. Uh, there's a lot happening. You're going to have lots of fish out deep still relating to those those herring and, and those offshore shad, you know, and all that stuff. You know, there's, there's going to be like a, a cane pile bite out there, you know, where they, these people have put in cane piles, you know, out in 18 to 30 feet of water and they stick up 15, 20 feet and you fish those with a top water. You know, you throw your favorite top water walking bait over the tops of those, uh, and you pull those spotted bass up out of those. So for me to find those, that's gonna be a deal. I'm gonna be finding those with my, you know, Lowrance Electronics from the back of the, uh, you know, the steering wheel on my boat. It's just not say, hey, go fish this cane pile or this deal, you know, just look out off those extended points, uh, secondary points, you know, flats that roll off, you know, anything irregular on a, on a, on a channel swing. Let's just, I don't know, let's just pull something up. Like when I, when I pull up this map immediately right here, you've got all this water, it flows down to the dam. You've got one heck of a saddle right here that just, man, it's intriguing. It's super shallow on this side. It looks like these symbols right there, are brush piles, got a road bed coming in. Then you've got a, a saddle. I love saddles. I, I, Springtime, summertime, fall time, saddles, really, really good. But there's gonna be, you know, out off this point, somewhere in that saddle, uh, maybe out off that hump, you know, and oh, I, I just, I'm sitting here saying saddles and I may have a viewer here that doesn't know why. You know, a saddle is one of those compression points. It's, you know, you've got a lot of, a big body of water and a saddle is, is a, a hump. You know, like you've got this island out here and it's just a saddle where the water's got to go up and over it. So, you know, it's, it's just like a connecting piece of land that the water's got to go over, but it's underwater. And we, we just call them saddles and it's a pinch point. Um, it compresses the water vertically. It compresses it horizontally. Uh, current's got to go over it. So those fish are able to ambush things on those. So anytime I'm on a body of water that, that's got spotted bass, um, you know, feeding on herring, saddles are just tremendous you know you could fish that one you could run right across here you've got another one that's super shallow um, you know then you're going to find some deeper ones you know you've got a really deep one here uh, with a gut right in it like i could just man i could fish a bunch of those really really quick so those are some areas like you know looking for those cane piles this point that sticks way out off this island you know that that would be a spot right there that would be really really good um, looks like that's about 31, 32 feet of water, those cane piles. What is a cane pile, you ask me? It's, it's, it's cane. It's just super, super tall sticks that are like the size of my wrist and they just bundle them up and they just kind of, they're just, they're not very big and they're going to be hard to see on your electronics a lot of times. You'll see just, they're spindly. It's just going to be like a, a clump of 20 foot tall grass out in the middle of somewhere and, and that's that's what people suspend and that's what people you know put on these spotted bass fisheries so look out off the structure you know that's going to be one or two or three places to start one thing to do you know for the spotted bass so when i zoom back out and i look at the map 
you know, I, I circle this whole lower half, and I, I think in my mind that's just 100 percent. It's not 100 percent, but a lot of spotted bass. You know, a big, vast majority of spotted bass on the lower end of that lake. I kind, I kind of, you know, start looking up this river, and you know, you see you got lots of creeks coming in, lots of, um, you know, secondary arms, the Little River, the Chattahoochee River. Man, one of these really sticks out to me just for this time of the year. Uh, this Wahoo Creek. And why does it stick out? When I look at it on this map, look how wide and flat that thing is. I just, man, to me, this is really, really cool. I've got lots of irregular features right here that I could fish all super quick. I've got a bridge. We always talk about bridges, pinch points, those kinds of things. That bridge right there is gonna be really, really good. I've got this huge flat back here that just, looks really really good you know shad and, and compressing the water column you know things back there they can just it's easier for me to fish i don't have to worry about having 50 60 70 feet of water um you know this is all shallow i can i can find them quickly uh, i got a little secondary creek over here it's going to have a hard stop in the back of it that's going to have rip wraps going to have a culvert coming in, underneath it i mean i've got high percentage areas all right there really really quick i want to look at that on google earth Apologize, man, I got a little bit of allergies, sinus, something. I kind of stopped up a little bit, but let's zoom in on this thing on Google Earth and just see what this thing looks like. Off the bat, right off the bat, you can tell it's off-colored. And, and anytime I can find off-colored water to me, that, that compresses things, makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, man, check it out. I've got an isolated dock all the way in the back back here off of a secondary point like that to me is is got to be good there's got to be a bass on that thing uh it, there just does it just i like a isolated dock in the back of a creek i'm going back here trying to to uh, see if we've got um, any different photos just with a low water photo oh yeah oh yeah looky here okay out in front of that dock We've got a secondary channel that comes right down through there. And then we've got this dock sitting in a channel. Really, really cool. I've got this dock, you know, with this big, long, isolated point. So I've got some really unique isolated docks. Uh, I probably like this one as much as any. It's on a clay bank right there. Uh, and then you got these docks just to start fishing your way out. You've got ones that are going to be on the steep side. You've got ones that are going to be on the flat side. I can just break it down really quick because there's so many different things to fish coming out of this creek. You know, just docks and bridge, just, you know, out off this point right here looks really good to me. So there's just lots of key, unique features where to start. And that's how you break it down. Just get somewhere where you're comfortable. And for me, that's where I would be comfortable on this lake. So you could duplicate that in many different situations, but when you look at the sea map, that creek is different than a lot of the other creeks. A lot of the other creeks are narrower, steeper, deeper. Uh, this one's flatter. You know, it's gonna, we always talk about also, you know, the biggest flats house the most amount of fish because that's the biggest spawning flat. So those are some areas where to start on Lanier. I hope that helps you guys. All right, let's go to the next lake. We have got, this is a cool lake. I can't, I, I can't believe I've never done this lake. Maybe I have, but I don't remember it. Lake James, I, I just, it is cool, like mega cool. And, and what is so cool about it, there is one feature on this lake that just is super cool and it's this canal bridge. There's a canal that connects parts of this lake and you can tell by looking at it that there is a ton of current that rolls through it. And I'm gonna show you right here uh, what I'm talking about. I mean, to me, it's just like, anytime I would go there, that I, it's, I just would have to start there because it, it's that cool of a spot. All right, as I zoom in here, I, I just placed a, a, a marker on it so I could find it easily here on Google Earth. Um, okay, this is it. So you have got a big, huge body of water back this direction when you zoom out. If, if I looked at it here on this map, you got all this water. And you got all this water. Any kind of wind change, it's all got to go back and forth through this canal. Uh, you know, looking at the aerial photos, they, they pull water out of the dam right here. They do some generation out of uh, another dam over here. Um, so there's a lot of area that they could pull from. If they pull from one side or the other, okay, but here's the spot. Like, when you start zooming in on this thing, 
look at all these pinch points. I've got, you know, water that's got to come around here. I've got this long extended point right here. I've got water that comes around the backside of this island. You can just tell, you know, how much this current is just, it rolls through there. And, and if I go back and I look here, just to see if we have some different photos. Oh, wow, here's a photo with it, with it really, really low. So you look right here, look at this point sticking out on this island. So this is part of an old road. You can see it right here. There's an old road that used to go across here and you've got a rock pile, a beautiful rock pile just sticking right out there. That's like A number one. I'll go right there. I will go right there and catch one. I just, I really, really like that. Uh, with that water up, I like this, this drain coming around here. Uh, you know, you've got a point right here, a little secondary point. You got a point right here. It looks like it's got some clay, some hard spots on it. These lay downs, just, this is so high percentage on any body of water that you go to. Uh, you know, you got that, you got a really neat little saddle that road's making right here. So uh, I gotta apologize guys, it is pouring outside like we are getting a big lightning thunderstorm right now i hope i don't lose power but a super cool spot to start right there you know you, you come across this canal you've got another underwater hump right out here uh, it's going to be a great place for those spotted bass largemouth to, to push up on this island uh, it's just flat you know we talk a lot about flats this flat right here you can tell it's got some sort of rock pile right there so this is what it looks like with the water full that sits right there. You can still actually see it a little bit. It looks like there's a buoy right there, but there's some sort of rock pile right there. It's just a cool, cool point that, man, I would have to fish uh, if I was going there. But let's get somewhere else. That's the lower end. That's a, lots, of, lots of really great positive things there. So if I was to zoom out, there's not a lot. There's some boat docks, but I'm not gonna say. I mean, it's not like, Lake Norman that's just littered with boat docks. So what the advantage to that is, at least these boat docks are far enough apart that you know you could go run some isolated boat docks all day long. You know, it's not like there's so many of them when you get sucked into them, you fish three hours and you haven't covered any water at all. This lake here, you know, there's just se sections and stretches that have boat docks, but then there's, you know, sections and stretches that that don't have any so you've got some variance there but okay just looking at it quick see how this bank right here is flat you know see how much these are, are a steeper that's mega steep steep look how flat that that bank is that is different that is a place that i gravitate to in the fall i don't care if i'm on grand lake james whatever lake it is i want shallow flat boat docks and that's what this bank has right here those are shallower than any other boat dock on that lake when you go to fill that up and that is exactly what you want to try to find in the fall it's just don't ask me why that's where they get in in the month of october that's a good stretch of boat docks let's just see if there's anything else cool flat point right here got brush piles you can see there's just brush brush all this is brush, you know, so out deep, I could fish up shallow on it. I like this stretch of stuff, you know, just think shallow in October, guys. Think top waters, think covering water. Uh, doesn't have to be cloudy all day to make it happen, but think shallow, shallow points, flat areas. That's the stuff that I really, really like to find at this time of year. I'm, I'm gonna find one more spot, just for the heck of it, because I'm, like, I'm liking looking at this lake. It's really cool here, like in the spring, just a tidbit in the spring, how you've got white rock and you've got clay. You guys pay attention to this clay in the spring. Sometimes those, that's, that is the stretch or you're gonna catch them on a red crankbait from crawdads. Don't ask me why, but that's just a, a stretch. And I like this point right here. I like this boat dock right here. That's a, another one of those really flat points. Uh, I've got a flat, shallow boat dock right there. It's just different. When, you're, when I'm going around here looking at this, all these are in the water. That one's completely out of the water at this water level, and that's the stuff I'm looking for. That one right there is shallow. That's what I like. I just, trust me on it. That's what you got to go find this time of the year. So there's a few spots on Lake James in North Carolina. That canal, to me, I just, if I had a Major League Fishing Cup event, I would be starting in that canal. Uh, I just would, that, that's a cool, cool spot right there. Keep in mind, on your body of water, you know, just, just 
you can take these, these tips and, and what we do here and use it on your body of water. So just try to apply it. Uh, I appreciate you sticking along and watching this video and let's pick the winner. Um, in my last September video, I had the comment, this is totally random guys. We do, I'd like you to be a subscriber. That's all I ask it. Just one of those things that helps the channel, but Josh Mize 9705. He said, Edwin watched this video last night, went out this morning, did everything I learned and caught a 533 largemouth. Congratulations, Josh. Uh, with you saying that, uh, man, just send me an email through my website and I will, I will get you a, a, a gift certificate for an Optima battery of your choice. Um, you can put it to good use. Thanks to Optima Batteries for sponsoring this video series. Uh, I enjoy looking at these lakes, guys. I, I've been on Palestine before. It was in the springtime, uh, but Lanier and the other one I had never been on, and, and uh, those look like cool lakes. So you guys leave me a comment. Tell me if I made any sense to you. Sometimes, you know, I, I don't hit it on the head, so but I do try hard, and, and that's the thing about it. I'm just trying to look for a place to start and get a bite uh, if I was going to these bodies of water and trying to narrow it down as quick as possible and why. So that's what we're trying to do with this video series. I hope it helps, guys. Uh, I want to wish you the best. Good luck in your fishing, and I hope you catch a big one.